Hi and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you the XLOOKUP, which is a new function in Excel available only on Office 365. And this is the successor of the VLOOKUP and the index and match functions, which are all available on the earlier versions of Excel. So if you're using the earlier versions, you can work around on those formulas. And this is the uh, same example that I use on my basic index and match video that I did. And I'm going to solve again this problem using the XLOOKUP. So let me start with a simple one here. Um, uh, let me look on the plant location of this uh, product. This is a changing cell here for the product. And I'm going to write here the XLOOKUP. And now the lookup value will be the product here in the changing cell comma. The lookup array will be the list where this product can be found, which is in this area. Then comma, the return array will be the plant location, the list of plants, because this is your criteria. So this is uh, located in this area. Then comma, the rest of the functions here are all optional. For example, if not found, let me put a text here, no record. And technically, this is equivalent to the if error or if in a statement or the formula that you will use within the main formula that you are doing. So I can eliminate that uh, later on. Comma, the match mode here is uh, technically, technically uh, looking for exact or approximate match or a wild card. Zero for the exact match, negative one for uh, exact match or smaller, next smaller item and then one for the next larger item and two for, for the wild card. Now the wild card is a partial lookup. For example, you're not very sure on the, on the spelling of your lookup value. You can use a wild card character like the question mark or asterisk within the word of your lookup value. Then the X lookup will return a result nearest on uh, what you might be looking for. So that's it. Now, the last thing is the search mode. The search mode is uh, basically telling your X look up to uh, look for the first occurrence if it is uh, one. So uh, the first uh, cell to look on the on the first occurrence will be will start on this cell going down or you can reverse that uh, and use negative one so that it will start at the bottom going up looking for the last occurrence. And then uh, you can also use binary search uh, for two, that's the ascending order, and negative two for the descending order. In this case, I'm going to leave it blank because the default is an exact match and also to look for the first occurrence. So, so I will just uh, close it and that's it. Now, uh, for this product, this is located here. This is the plant location, plant three. Now, if I change it, for example, this product here, this is also updated. Let me check it again. This product, the shirt, here. That's okay now. So let's move on with the second example here. I want to use the XLOOKUP on this, again, changing cell for the revenue, uh, discount, and net profit. So basically, if you're new with the XLOOKUP, the first thing that you will do is like this. XLOOKUP, and then the lookup value will be the changing cell, comma, and then this is the lookup array. Now, notice that the lookup array here is a horizontal range. So, both the vertical or horizontal range or arrays can handle or can be handled by the X lookup. So, that's it. Comma, the return array will be, of course, should correspond with your lookup array. So, you're going to put this, uh, this three columns that contains the amount of this revenue, discount, and profit. Then, the rest are optional. We want the exact match. We want the first occurrence, so first to last, and that's it. When you enter it, there is the answer. It's like a uh, an array of answer because you're basically telling the XLOOKUP to look for the net profit, the revenue or discount, and this is the return, all the amount that uh, it sees on your database. So that's it. When you notice the formula here, uh, this is the original formula. And then on the succeeding uh, amounts here, it is like colored gray. And if you try to delete that, it cannot be deleted here. Only uh, 
the cell that contains the original formula can be deleted. So that's it. Control Z. So this is not the final answer because uh, we're looking for a multiple criteria here. And to do that, we're going to use again the XLOOKUP within this uh, formula that we did. So I'm going to write the XLOOKUP and then the lookup value will be the product here and then use an end connector to combine the plant here because you have multiple criteria comma that's your lookup value now you your look operation also correspond with your lookup value first we're gonna have the list of the product here and then use the end connector to combine the plant location here and that's it notice again that it should have the same length all of them because if not, there will be a value error or a pound error if you're, uh, if you're not going to align all of it, uh, especially uh, this, uh, the length, the, the, the size of your array. So that's it. And then we're going to use the comma here. And the return array will be the first X lookup that we did because technically that's correct. It returns the amount of revenue, discount, and profit. So um, let me put a comma here and a text no record so that I will not write again the if error in this formula and then close it because I want the exact match. I want the first occurrence and that's it. This is your answer now. So uh, this is the shirt located in plan four. The revenue are for the revenue is uh, this amount, which is correct here. Now, if I change the product, here the revenue is this amount which is also correct let me change it again into net profit and this is the product so that's it that's the x lookup and notice that it is uh, an improved version of the vlookup because in the vlookup you're going to use a table array there and uh, the first column of your table should contain the lookup value in here regardless of the position of your lookup value uh, the return array can either be on the left side or on the right side we can handle uh, an arrays, a range, both for vertical and horizontal. And notice as well that we use an array here uh, with an end connector. And technically, if you use the index and match, you're going to enter it using the control shift enter. But in here, you're just going to press the enter on your keyboard and that's it. And also, you eliminate the if na or if error at the end of or in your within your formula here. So... That's also a good improvement. So that's it. And the uh, only disadvantage of XLOOKUP is that it's not compatible with the earlier version. If you use it in, uh, in the earlier version, there will be a return, which is a name because it doesn't recognize the formula. And that's it. But overall, it is uh, very good to, to use, especially if it's uh, compatible with all the versions uh, later on. So that's it. I'm finished here. If you are liking my videos, you can subscribe in my channel and see you next time and thanks.